I see many people uh, want a word from God. Many people have come from far away to get a word from God. So definitely, Holy Spirit will speak into your life. Also, I like to share a word that is uh, God has got given to me. It is from the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 8. Everyone can take the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 8. On the first day when I was ministering, the Holy Spirit was uh, speaking through me about uh, releasing the David's anointing oil. The anointing oil that was uh, poured upon David. So what is David's anointing oil? What was the purpose of David's anointing oil? It is given for those faithful servants who are serving the Lord with much sincerity. So those who are keeping the word, this uh, key of David house, or otherwise called as David's anointing oil, will be given to such people. Amen. On the first day when I was ministering, I was speaking, uh, the Holy Spirit was speaking through me, the David anointing is released. Amen. How many of you heard that? How many of you received it? So, there is explosive power in the David's anointing oil. There is uh, financial openings in the David's anointing oil. David was anointed when he was very small, when he was looking after his father's ship. God sent a prophet Samuel to anoint David with the anointing oil, and he was anointed as the king of Israel. So, he was anointed as, as the king of Israel, but he was not sitting on the throne. The anointing was upon him, but he was not sitting on the throne. There is it here. So, David was anointed as the king of Israel, but he was not sitting on the throne. He was still outside the palace. He was trying to escape from Saul. So, but there was the anointing upon him. But the one who was sitting on the throne is actually not having the anointing. How many of you understand? That's why I told you, it is not your singing or your sharing the word that is testing whether you have the anointing. Anointing can be tested in your obedience. How many of you understand? So that's why there is a word, uh, if you obey the word of God, we will be blessed. So today I'm sharing with, uh, with you a word that is from the book of Revelations, chapter 3, 8. What it is saying, I know your works. I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. For you have little strength, I have kept my word and I have not denied my name. So, the David's anointing oil is today released here. Every, every part when you read the Bible, you can see either in the beginning or in the last. God is telling, I will bless you, I will multiply you, I will give you many, many, many blessings like that. But in the beginning or in the last part, we can see God is saying, you obey me. Amen. Every blessing in the Bible is with a condition. Every prophecy in the Bible is with a condition. What is that condition? That condition is to obey the Lord. Obey the voice of the Lord. Amen. So today also, God will release the anointing oil upon you. Amen. If you want to get that anointing oil, what it is said? You have to keep the word and you should not deny the name. You should not deny the name of God. How many of you understand? So people who are sick will be healed today. People who have infirmities will be healed today. And new doors will be opening to you. I will be sharing the word uh, also, giving word to, not to everyone. Some people who have not received a word yesterday. Some people who have come today also not received the word today. But because of lack of time, I am not giving the word to everyone. 
Actually, our ministry is uh, giving word to everyone. Hallelujah. Somebody will ask why, why we giving word to everyone. Because that is the anointing, giving word to everyone. When Jesus was there, Jesus gave food to everyone. He gave word to everyone. Hallelujah. So, uh, I will read uh, the verse 7, the book of Revelation chapter 3, 7 and 8. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, write these things, says, He who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts and shuts and no one opens, I know your works. So what is the condition? What is the condition to get the anointing of the David oil? God is watching you. He is observing you. He is watching your ministry. What time you are coming? How much, uh, uh, how, how is your ministry? Everything God is watching. So that is what it is saying. I know your works. If you have no discipline, God cannot use you powerfully. The main character of a servant of God is discipline. When I started the ministry, I, I actually do not know the sh to share the word. Even in my mother tongue, I could not even sing a song. I could not share the word. And somebody so told me, you are not fit for the ministry. You go for some other work. But I was uh, focusing on discipline. Not studying uh, to speak the word boldly. How many of you understand? Somebody went to the music school to, to study the Carnatic music to sing songs beautifully. So we have to concentrate in discipline. What the word is saying, I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it for you have little strength. Little strength means you have no power, you have no uh, knowledge, you have no wisdom. God knows everything. God is not looking your qualification. God is not looking how you are preaching the word. He is looking into your heart. That's why he's saying, for you have little strength. So, God is not looking your, quality, your outside appearance. He is not looking your education, not how beautiful you are singing. He is looking whether you, you are, your heart is good. Your, there is no blame in your heart. In the first day, I, second day I was teaching about uh, your heart should be without darkness. If there is any darkness in your heart, the anointing oil will not work. So you have to humble yourself. You should be like a child. What Jesus said, unless you become like a child of God, you cannot see the kingdom of God. You should be like a child. When any, anyone hates you, you laugh at him. When anyone mocks at you, you love him. When anyone rejects reject you, you accept him. So, uh, God is looking at your heart to get a blessing. So, today uh, God is giving that anointing oil in this, uh, in this congregation. And what you want is a pure heart. You have to purify your heart. There is time to hear. Within seconds, you can ask the Lord, Lord, purify my heart. Cleanse my heart with the blood of Jesus. So when your heart is purified, when it is washed with the blood of Jesus, he will give you a new heart. And then the anointing oil will be released. Alo shaka ram kidaram. Be courageous, says the Lord. More opportunities are coming and financial blessings are coming. The backside, yeah. The Lord will give you a promotion. I, I sense uh, you have a lot of plans, but it is not working. You have a lot of plan to do something but nothing is working. So what uh, you have to do is, you have to stay in your room 
and get the Holy Spirit. Have you got the Holy Spirit? 